Alright my friends, what is going on and welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today we're looking at OBJ. I really don't think we need to look at his stats, but we might. If something comes up in this video we might, but I'm thinking this one's going to be short and sweet, straight to the point, and that's what you guys want, so let's do it. Best player at your position in the NFL right now. Ooh. DJ Shark! Mmm. I'm gonna have to go with Odell. Obviously made fantastic one hand acrobatic catches all the time. Yeah, but he wouldn't have done that without the gloves. Apparently, that's what Jerry Rice said anyway. But what he can do after the catch is why I think he's a best receiver. Yeah, he's got... I think he ran a 3... No, sorry, a 4-4-1 or a 4-3-9. Now, when you think about that, that is elite speed. If you've got that as a wide receiver, plus the jukes, plus the handles... Now, this guy is, is elite. He's swift, he's elite, and he is injured right now. So let's continue. A lot of people didn't think he'd, he'd last this long at the, the Browns. The way that he get in and out of cuts and tackles. The way he'll spin back in, make moves and get extra yards. Back up caught it. He spins at the 40. He cuts to the middle of the field. Mm. Nice. Oh, BJ, what a catch. Beckham Jr. Bang, laters. Ooh, I knew that was coming. Shakes him with the left, then gives him the right. He gets the ball in his hands. You think there's a chance for it to score every time. You know, we had the Jets game this year. We caught a little slant and took it 80 yards to the house. Mm. On the burst. Let's watch that again. You know, we had the Jets game this year. We caught Look at that. Literally. Well, he did have to turn around for it. But he didn't lose any speed whatsoever. A little slant and took it 80 yards to the house. Oh, I want to see this. Oh, you would not have thought that he'd run outrun all of those players. 89-yard touchdown on his return to MetLife Stadium. Damn, that's a nice touchdown. Odell, Odell um, obviously his numbers aren't where he would like or what you're used to seeing. Aside from one injury plague season, Odell Beckham Jr.'s lowest top 100 ranking was 32. Following his first campaign in Cleveland, Beckham drops 36 spots from last year's countdown. He's still one of the most respected receivers. Beckham's there up in the air! As you see on tape, a lot of people are game planning for them, and their game plans have to adjust because of the attention that he's getting. This is where I would start to use Odell. You know that Boone's going to take him out of the game. You know that they're mm, Let's have a look at that again. So he's got two, it's a two on one. Now who's that leaving open? No one really. And their game plans have to adjust. But what they do have is a big, strong, tight end on a cornerback. The attention that he's getting. This is where I would start to use Odell. You know that Boone's going to take him out of the game. You know that they're going to want to double team him. I just told him that he's like, you know we doubling you all night. I say you disrespecting him. It's helped out the offense tremendously just having him on the team. But opens up for Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Jarvis, he spreads the ball for everybody. Start it off, man. Start it off. I just want to be the very best that I can for this team. Be the leader. I will say something, I don't know who started the whole cross, you know, little dangling airing. I do like it, I'm not going to say I don't, but what I also like is the fact that he's gone back to his, his normal, you know, black hair, okay, fresh fade, nice wee beard, nice wee earring, you know what I mean, nothing too flashy, let your play do the talking. And I'm supposed to be... He looks good. Him and Jarvis working together, it's been really good for Jarvis. They make you sure you and no damn. Jarvis Landry let Odell Beckham Jr. clear everything out, and then he gets his separation for the touchdown. Mm. Those are the two wide receivers you want crossing in front of each other, right? You want them meshing, bro. Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. Are you kidding me? Literally just as good as each other. Oh, Dale, that really opens things up for Jarvis. Now, Richard Sherman, he's all over the place. He is giving everyone kudos, bro. Even if he gets scored on, he's going to get up, he's going to smile at you and say respect. I respect that, but do some people out there think that he's just a little bit too nice? I have an inkling that that might be the case. Today, obviously, Gilmore is on OBJ a lot. Steph's a great competitor. He always wants whatever the biggest challenge is. With him. I like Steph Gilmore. In fact, this is the first Top 100 series that I've actually heard him speak. And he has to be the most cool, calm, and collected cat, cornerback, 
I've actually ever, ever heard talk. It's, it's very, very calming, um, Stefan Gilmore talking. In fact, I, I hope that we hear him talk now. Yeah, I had the tough task of guarding him one-on-one -on -one pretty much the whole game, and imagine how the week of practice went when I was trying to prepare for him. White came up and looked like he was going to be in press coverage. He backed off, and Odell just ran to work out on him. He can beat you deep, he can beat you underneath, he can run any route Bro, you. Tredavious White was so afraid he was going to get his ankles broken, he pretty much did. Effectively, both Beckham and Jarvis Landry passed 1,000 yards receiving, and while Landry notched more yards and touchdowns, OBJ checks in two spots higher than his BFF. How does that work? Like that, you can't stop him completely. Only thing you can do is try to limit the damage that he does to your defense. Listen to the crowd, bro. Listen to the crowd. Okay, for all of you OBJ um, fans out there, we do want to have some stats. Why not? But there is really no reason to continue this video. It's probably gone for about six minutes. Um, Odell Cornelius Jr. is 28 years of age, <clears throat> 5 foot 11, 198 pounds. 12th pick in the first round of the 2014 draft. He went to LSU. He's played for the Giants and the Browns. He is now injured, of course. In fact, let's just get his 20... 2019 stats for a start. They were down, but he was still number 58 on the list. 16 games, 16 games started, 74 receptions for 1,035 yards, an average of 14 yards per reception, longest of 89 for a touchdown, which we saw. Four touchdowns, which is his lowest in a full regular season so far, and one fumble, which he lost. So Overall, guys, he's played, at, at, this, at this very moment, he is injured. He's only played seven games this year. He's not coming back till next year, right? So he's done for the season. 82 games in total. 487 receptions. 6,830 yards over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seasons. I mean, look at his first three seasons. That, that is why he burst onto the scene, right? 1,300, 1,450, 1,367. The next year with the Giants, he was injured. I assume I wasn't actually watching it at that point, but then the year after that he came back in his last year for the Giants, scored another thousand yards, went to Cleveland, scored a thousand yards. Now this year he's only going to reach 319, which is down, but his average per reception is still up there at around about 14. So he's doing okay. He scored three touchdowns this year, bringing his total to 51. Okay, let's move on. In the next video, guys, we're looking at Kirk Cousins. He's the quarterback for the Vikings. Um, Kirk Cousins, what do I think about when I think of him? I think about a purple uniform. I think about a white guy in a purple helmet. And that's really all I've got to say. So, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.